Hey guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak your Apple TV 2 running version 5.3 and also install ATV Flash Black. Now this works for both Mac and Windows, uh, the Season Pass jailbreak. Go ahead and choose which one you want, the link's down below. And once you open up Season Pass, you're going to have to connect a mini USB cord to the back of your Apple TV and connect the other side to your computer. Once you do that, go ahead and hit Create IPSW. Now it's going to detect what type of uh, Apple TV you have and what version it's running on. So as you can see there it says Apple TV and at the end right there it says 5.3. That's the version that I'm running. It's now going to download the jailbroken version of 5.3. So once it downloads it's going to unzip it. Now I'm fast forwarding this because it takes a while to do but I just want you to see how or what to expect when you're doing it yourself. So once it creates the IPFW, you're going to want to put your, your Apple TV in DFU mode by holding down the menu and play. Once it does that, it's going to detect it again, and it's going to start uploading this uh, version to your Apple TV. As you can see, iTunes is going to open up automatically. This is done all automatic. You don't have to touch anything after you put it in DFU mode. It's going to find the the... Apple TV and it's going to find the, the custom version that it downloaded and it's going to do everything on its own. So you just let it run, let it do its thing. This does take a little while, uh, I would say about 15 minutes to, to do depending on how fast your computer is. But again, you don't have to do anything. So once you see that it opens up on iTunes, you're uh, just about halfway there. Now this is a tether jailbreak for version 5.3 um, and I'll show you how to boot your Apple TV once you have actually placed your Apple TV wherever you're going to have it permanently. So once it's done, go ahead and close up iTunes. You don't need to use it anymore and go ahead and hit done on uh, season pass. Now you're going to have to take your Apple TV to wherever you usually have it. Now I usually have it in the closet and I'm going to connect the power and connect the, back, the mini USB cable and connect it again to my computer and I'm going to hit the uh, boot tether and again put it in DFU mode by holding down the menu and play button for seven seconds. Once you do that it's going to find the device and it's going to reboot your Apple device. So after it reboots it's, it'll tell you that it's safe to disconnect the USB. Go ahead and click, go ahead and connect the HDMI cable and you should be okay to go. Um, as you can see now, right there where it says settings, I have a different symbol which says FC. That confirms that you actually have a jailbroken Apple TV and you could uh, do different things now with it. As you can see right there, I'm confirming that I have version 5.3. And now I'm going to show you how to install ATV Flash Black. It's $29.95. It's not cheap, but it lets you do a lot of awesome things on your Apple TV. Once you download it, or if you do want to do this, you can. If not, you could search for different things online to uh, to do different things with the jailbroken Apple device. But I do recommend ATV uh, Flash Black. Once you do download it, go ahead and install it. And it's going to find your Apple device. So your computer and your Apple device have to be on the same network. As you can see, it found mine, Apple device, or Apple TV. And it shows the IP address that my Apple TV is on. Um, once you hit continue, it's going to transfer all these files to your Apple TV through the net, your local network. And now it's going to do a reboot on your Apple TV. So once it does the reboot, you'll see that I that the actually the FC symbol on the settings has gone away. Um, but it, that FC is just there for a couple minutes just for that confirmation that you did jailbreak. But you'll see on the left hand side over there that you have a maintenance button now. And in that maintenance button, you'll have some plugins that you could download, like XBMC, which is a really big thing to have. Uh, I personally like Plex more, but uh, currently on 5.3, Plex isn't uh, compatible. So we, I have to use the X, XBMC, which isn't bad. It's a very good plugin. And if you don't know what it is, I highly recommend searching, doing a little good Google search on what it is. But you could download weather apps, you could download a web surfing app, and all kinds of other stuff. It's pretty awesome. Do a Google search and you'll see what I mean. If this helped you out, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, any concerns, or if you want to know anything, let me know down below in your comment section. And I'll make sure to either answer the question or maybe even make a video. Thank you for watching.